Oh, Mr. Mark Sherman, how are you doing, Mark? <laughs> I seen your video here, and of course, I got brought into it for no apparent reason. Um, I've learned what I've learned from you, Mark. I don't bash you. If somebody wants a full radio done, tune up, alignment, receive, the whole nine yards, the audio modifications you do in and out, I tell them to go to see you. Not here to bash you, not here to start problems, but of course you had to list me in your video at two minutes in for no apparent reason. Now, everything I've learned, which is not much compared to what you know, I've learned from watching your videos. You know, I went from not having a scope to purchasing a scope to a tone generator, learning how to set all this stuff up, lots of research on just doing that alone. I got the good RF sampler off RF parts. I cost a pretty good penny. You know, I've done what I can do. I've done my own radios now for over a year. Try to get the wave as clean as I could on the scope, on AM and sideband, adjusting carrier power to the rave the best I could. Okay? I never claimed to be you. I never wanted to be you. I don't want your business. I don't do what you do. But... I am doing a little bit of radio work for gentlemen that would like something at a lower cost and have a pretty clean, decent wave out of the radio to talk, okay? I did put a comment here, which I will pause and people can read. You can pause the video. But, of course, Mark, you have me blocked on your, face, on your Facebook and on your YouTube page, so people can't even see my comment, okay? I'm getting new radios in. A little bit of radios here, three, four a week. I'm putting the max mod in. I'm adjusting the wave on the scope for AM and sideband and sending it out. I'm not charging a big fee for everything you do because I'm not doing what you do. I am not you. But I'm not going to stop doing what I'm doing, okay? You have always preached about bad waves, hack jobs, stuff like that. I believe that. And a lot of stuff I've had in here are from the other shops that don't use a scope, okay? I'm using a scope. I don't care if the user loses four or five watts to get that wave clean. It's not about the watts. It's about the wave, okay? Sure, I'm learning, and I'm charging a learning price. So for you to come out here and make mention of me in your video at two minutes in, Mark, I feel honored. I am trying. I did purchase what I could for equipment. I tried to pick better stuff. I watched, again, your videos. I'm not going to bash you, brother. Never. Again, I'll tell people in my own video. If they want the full deal, the full A to Z from Mark Sherman from Fine Tune CB Shop, purchase it. Purchase it. That's fine. But I'd rather them come to me than go to... The other 25, 30 shops out there, which you and I could both name in three seconds, that do not use a scope and hack them up. And I've seen them here. Let's see. Uh, da -da -da -da. My bench here, my hack mess. Yeah, there's a couple here. You know, here, here's some things that I've seen. Okay, you can see that wave there. You can see that wave there. Okay? This is stuff that came into me. Okay? This is stuff that came into me. So, I'm trying to do a service out there, Mark, for these guys that don't have a lot of money. And I try to do the service the best I could without ripping people off. For what I'm charging, brother, I'm barely making a penny by the time you go through the shipping, the packing... The drive to the store, to the, to the FedEx store, UPS store, USPS, the gas and time down and back. I know it all in that respect. I know it all is meaning what it takes on the back end just to get the customer the radio back. All the shipping, the time, the phone calls, the emails, the questions. I know that part. You are the guy to go to if they want the full deal, top to bottom. I'm only trying to make people have a clean wave and let them talk, okay? I didn't say my work's going to stand up against yours. I didn't say the receive is done. I'm being honest, and I'm honest with everybody that comes to me for radio work. 
if you want me to clean up the wave a little bit, it's this much money plus shipping, and that's it. Very simple. So while you continue to go out there and dig people and put everybody down, which is what you do a lot, I will continue to slowly do what I do, whether you like it or not. Number two, I have a guy that was in here last night, called you four months ago, and you made him feel like crap on the phone because you weren't going to teach him how to set up his radio once he got it. Hey, Mark, thank you, brother. That guy has spent over $100 with me on two radios now, and he's sounding loud and clean. He's sounding clear on the air on AM and sideband, and you know what, Mark? He's happy. He's happy. So... Thank you for that business. I'll take that all day long. You want to keep telling people on the phone with your nasty comments on your callbacks and causing problems with them on the phone and belittling them on the telephone? Keep doing it, brother, because they're just going to come to somebody like me that's going to be honest with them and say, look, I can't do what Mark does, but I can try to make you clean on air, show you the wave, and let you talk. So far... 25 radios out, not one person has complained. Audio reports have been fine. So do what you do, Mark. I'm not going to step in the arena of a pissing match with you. There's no sense. You do what you do. I'll do what I do. We'll both continue this journey forward. My goal is to try to make people talk clean. Very simple. That's my goal. Your goal is that as well. But you do a lot more than I do. And you know a lot more than I know. And I'm not going to dispute that at all. But I'd rather, and I think maybe you'd rather, see somebody bring a radio to me and actually try to make it clean on there and straighten things out than take it to these other places that you know are just never going to even put on the scope and make it totally sound flat, crappy, and junky. So... In closing, good luck, Mark. I wish you the best. In my opinion, and I'll state this on my own channel, in radio work, you are the best that I've seen out there. Don't also forget I've owned two of your radios, Mark. Two radios I bought off you. Everybody knows that. Everybody. So I'm doing what I can. That's all I got to say. I feel good about what I do. Then here's my comment again, which is funny that nobody else can read my comment on your videos, even though I still subscribe to you. So, all right, Mark, that's all I got to say. I'm not going to say anything bad. I have nothing bad to say. I've learned a lot from your videos. I'm going to continue to learn. Two years ago, I was afraid to open a radio. Now I can at least open the radio and see what I see on the scope and try to make it a little better without making it a crap box, without overmodulating it, without cutting limiters or spreading coils. I don't do what you do. Again, I don't do what you do. I never will do what you do, but I'll never charge what you charge for what you do. I'm out.